1034. Reported assault in progress. Uh, let's play the quiet park. game. Oh, what? It's not fun getting beat up? We'll sit with that for a while. Throw objects at enemies. I didn't throw a thing. What? I don't even... I don't know. How far would this missile chase me? More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's quarantine. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. <laughs> or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? Thought you were a loner. Ah, means and ends, folk. Yeah. All of life is means and ends. <laughs> 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 for these particular means freedom true freedom no more you no more rhino all right come here come here paloka joe well, at least this is self-explanatory okay rhino let's wrap this up Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorch, I love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Garkin, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. Move it, Garkin. Watch where you're going, you idiot. Watch for you, Dad. What the? Okay. Well, I broke the rhino. Temporarily. Oh. So you guys and Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about the We Murdered Spider-Man and used his corpse for a blanket? Yeah. Gargan, please, you embarrass yourself. Uh, uh, Gargan. I will squash bug myself. Oh, he's just unconscious. What's up, Rhino? Ow. Ow. We could just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that. Rhino stunned. Time for fists of fury. Okay. You know. Come here, Hulk. I will teach you to throw real punch. My jaws already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. Uh. Is he? Is he stupid? Didn't I hear you took a poetry class in the raft, like a therapy thing? Ah, here is Lankis. Along came Spider. I sat down beside him. Delightful. Ah. 
do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! Ah! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. Oh, that was cute. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Okay, so that was enough in that suit. Oh, we have a new suit. Hold on. Vintage comic book suit. Insult your enemy's pride. Oh. I mean, we could buy it. It looks very strange. I'd have to do one more... Yeah, all right. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but... I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Let's see, I wonder if it makes the rest of the game comic booky. I wish it did. That'd be that'd actually be kind of cool. Units equipped with riot gear requested to subdue a disturbance. Witness reported location at Sugar Hill. Also, thank you to Cryoris for gifting five subs to Tai Jaku, Artemis A's, Silent Gamer MMO, Leo Gray, RNG Made, and uh, your 11th month resub. Thank you so much. There we go. Took a little bit. Fully cell shading this whole world would highlight a lot of problems. It probably will. It, it would. It would be really cool though. Okay, uh, we got a fight people challenge over here, so let's go do do that one Police real quick. Transport is under armed assault. Reported location is near Douglas. Whee! It, honestly, like, I think they needed, like, a thick black outline on him or something. It looks a little crappy against the realistic, uh, environments. Not, like, too Officers bad. be advised. A food supply station is being attacked by escaped prisoners. Nearest officer, please proceed to Hamilton Heights. We. All right. Another combat challenge. Better jump in and save that guy. Take him down. You're sharp. This is not a drill. Okay. Oh. We should probably switch away from the Quip Soup Powder. Power. It is going to be useless in this situation. Okay, where's the other guys? There they are. Okay, we have more? Yes, we do. Okay. Is that it? Come on. Come on, camera angle. There we go. Wish I'd done that well in school. Well, that was easy enough. I mean, as usual, the uh, spider spider bro just kind of wrecks everything. Continuing sweep. I feel like that title needs up. 
updating, but I can't think of anything amusing. I mean, I might go back to Spider Ghost. It wasn't as creepy as I wanted, but we didn't have a whole lot of uh, close-ups. What I might do, honestly, is actually put Spider Ghost back on um, for the next couple missions until we get a satisfying Spider Ghost close-up. Get backpacks? What? Those seem dangerous. Hey guys, those seem dangerous. Okay. Swing kicks. Who am I? Oh. Dying hard. Holy shit. Come on! Come on! I press the dodge button. He, he gets. Stop! Stop doing that! Why are you doing? Get off the building! I I don't know if I can like properly describe how infuriating this game sometimes is. With like the uh, it's not the midair combat. It's if you're around like the edge of a building. If you're around the edge of a building, Spider-Man just gets really confused. Gotta be honest, those rocket backpacks are pretty awesome. I'm not even done yet. We're not even done with the mission. What? I, I just am so confused I'd tell you to make and mildly offended. Next time, but uh, let's be real. That would have been so much easier. I, I've also noticed, yeah, the camera still turns like garbage. Attention units, snipers have officers pinned down. Requesting officers on scene in Bloomingdale. Okay, wants me to... Wait, it wants stealth takedowns, yeah? Okay, not stealth kills, stealth takedowns. Nothing to do but pick them off one by one with these big old high power rifles of ours. Okay, there we go. Shoot him down. What? Hey, the cops may say they like you, but they don't like you like you. Oh, I'm out of. That's annoying. Yeah, I wasted one of my charges earlier. Well, that's dumb. Yeah, because the uh, the guy that was on the radio it was like a crazy modern western lawmen pinned down in an urban canyon you because this is stable control what's the situation in columbia control apc echoes in pursuit of fugitives i i was just confused there i tried using the knockback thing but because the guy was in the middle of a use radio animation it didn't matter he just um <laughs> He just uh, stood there and was like burr, 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 talking on his phone. It's like, no, come on, game. My knockback thing should take priority. Oh well. Oh god, that's a lot. Gotta move quick and quiet. What's that? I know. I should have called first. Someone. Okay. Huh? Shh, people around here work. Nope, that Come didn't on. work. I couldn't see it, and then it was too late. Yeah, there's just some weird UI issues. I don't really get them. If they see me, the hostage is dead. Good night, goon. Okay, there we go.
Ah, oh, they're so cute what? when they're sleeping. Kill the hostage. Okay, I. When their outline turns white, they're supposed to be vulnerable, but I, I, maybe I'm wrong about that one. Actually, I don't know. See, that looks really cool. I would play a uh, Spider-Man game that looks like the skin, but it's the skin on its own in this game just looks kind of bizarre. Gotta move quick and quiet. Okay. What? No talking during the infiltration. Okay, well, this went a little faster at the very least. Hey. I guess if I take out the spotter here, it makes it easier. Nope, I guess it has nothing to do with the outlines. I thought I had observed that earlier. But I was, in fact, incorrect. Okay, that guy is safe. Come on. No. Up! Shh. Up, you dunce. What was that? Where is he going half the time here? Okay, I think it's just these two guys. Alright. Are they safe? They're not secret, they're not safe. But you know what we do have? The sound of silence. Good night, goon. Oh, there we yeah. go. I'm oh, awesome. that was closer than I wanted it to be. But that's fine. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's... Nope. Right. Mission's ending. Then we can move on. We're probably going to get kidnapped here. I've done a bunch of these challenges and we haven't had another uh, Taskmaster boss fight. Okay, uh, let's go back to Spider-Bro, and let's move away from this suit. So that that leaves us with only two suits left. 45, and then I don't actually know what that last one is. Possibly for hundoing, that, hundoing the game. This is a nice looking suit. Still not as nice looking as some of the other ones. Like the Mark III armor looks amazing. Attention units, the food supply station is being raided by looters. Backup needed in Bloomingdale. She does not sound very excited about that. Elect no. Ah! Okay, uh, we might as well just go listen to that one. I forgot going into combat actually, uh, actually interrupts him. Electro trying to destroy our power grid. The vulture raining death from above. Spider-Man egging them both on in the very heart of our city, brawling like children. Lethal children, pitching a tantrum of death and destruction. I'm often asked... Why do menaces like this end up with awesome powers? Why not someone like you, Jonah? <laughs> well, I have considered trying to use advanced science to give me powers, only so I could protect you in a more hands-on way, of course. But after much reflection, I've decided against it. Because power corrupts. I'm a man of the people, and I want to stay one of the hard-working, ordinary people of New York. So I'll just help via my talk show, my publishing empire, and my vast personal fortune. No need to thank me. It's what a man of the people does. Oh, punk. Okay. Oh. Eat this. So concussion strike knocks them around. Great news. You all want an island vacation. Rikers Island. <laughs> Not very exciting. I'll go back to Spider Bro. Or just switch away from the suit. Because he looking the suit. Looks nice. It's got the like weird bat side things. But no, I, I wanna be I wanna be Spider Ghost for a little while longer at least. Spider Ghost is is real fun. Units with riot gear needed to respond to a violent disturbance. 
Location is Museum Mile. Over. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Ooh. So level 45 is the last stand suit. And then beating the main story gets us the anti-ox suit and the undie suit. Oh, I'm looking forward to those. I just had to look those up, those up while we were there. Okay, uh, where are we going? Right, I can... He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. I can dodge. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. So, are these just random refugees? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. <laughs> oh, this. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. That's bad. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist been coughing up a storm what they have to let us back upstairs <laughs> how come osborne never has to vacate his apartment for security sweeps he's got some fancy new system installed in the back security room no sweeps needed they say plus you know he's the mayor what a jerk he's definitely lost my vote do we have anybody else around here Agent of Chaos? No? It might actually just be it. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire floor. It's because Sable took over building security. Nope, don't see anybody else I can really mess with, so maybe the poor security guard is overwhelmed already. Or maybe we just gotta get closer to listen to it before we get the next one. Off limits, ma'am. No? Agent of Chaos? Anybody want to cause a ruckus? Ruckus? Anyone? No? Seriously? Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right Security now. Security room's it's open. Just, as important just as need Osborne. to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. So I've Copy that control. We're five by <sighs> multi I got stealth takedowns. Now. I like this thing. That'll be fun. That's not how tasers work. Gotta turn him around. What was that? Good boy. I'm sure Sable off elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. You know, I'd love to play a stealth game someday where you start with nothing, all you can do is just sneak around. 
and there's, you know, gear upgrades and stuff like that, but it's like... Only way to unlock the elevators by setting off a fire alarm. Here goes nothing. It's like totally freeform. So you could save up for the taser or lures or a bag of rocks. And like, depending on how good the gear is, it's like... Uh, depending on how like effective the, the equipment is. Isn't that basically Hitman? Yeah, but I want it to be like... Like in Hitman... You already have, like, all these skills and stuff, and I kind of wanted to be, like, this regular person. You know, agent saboteur in, like, um, a surveillance state or something like that. I know there's, like, Beyond Good and Evil and a couple other ones, but I, I wanted to be a little bit more, like, deus exe, but you're starting without all the cybernetic, impre uh, like, cybernetic equipment. Or, like, um... Maybe it actually be kind of fun with magic, too. That sounds like sticks. Yeah, kinda. Kinda like sticks, but sticks already knows what he's doing. I want it to be like this. I mean, effectively, Mary Jane started with nothing and now she's got lures, a taser, and occasionally Spider Man. Maybe someday I'll convince Keith to play the co op sticks game with me. That did it. Norman's clearing out. And the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Okay, other direction. He wants them to be clumsy as all heck. Yeah, kind of. Oh, I could have just walked out the door. I don't know, it would just be kind of neat to, like... From zero to master spy over the course of an entire game. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable. Wait! Okay. Turns out I'm not supposed to just go stand next to them. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable. Right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. But useless button. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm certain it's because uh Mary Jane is recognizable. Which is why she got caught there. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. What is this thing? Oh. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. I'd keep it. Then it's gonna be pretty hard to hide the fact that she's, she has it. The fabulous Osborne boys. Okay, we should look around for a little bit before we progress. There's some stuff here. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Hey, and thank you, Silent Warlock Cosplay, for the resub. Zorda. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Okay, do we have anything else in here? Nope. Looks like it's, uh... Uh, progress time. I'm fine with that. Hello. Norman bids his son farewell. 
Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Probably because... Norman must like spy movies. Maybe he accidentally turned Harry into something? Or... Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Oh. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? I still get the feeling he did something wrong. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. And thank you, Weary Whale. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Thank you, Weary Whale, for the resub. <laughs> Fifteen days later. Eh, that's fine. No rush. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Okay, nothing there. Something here. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Well, I mean, they... Actually, I don't know if they created Spider-Man in this one. Ooh, look at these creepy masks. I like them. Wait, question. Night. Why is she on fire? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's neat. Okay, so... Mary Jane's on fire. Why is she on fire, you may ask? It's because we've got the ghost spider uh effects going on in the background because they didn't um yeah mj is an overlay over spider-man she's just a costume but because the costume has a fire effect yeah oh that's that's hilariously lazy i love that I don't know. I I love I love little holes like that. You know, just li just little things that they probably didn't think of and probably will never fix, just because it amuses me. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero! Hey, Dad. On my way to Doctor Michaels for one last shot before the um the big trip. Um. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could. You grab my journal from my room. I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... Tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Good God, this Pentos is huge. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Anything else to interact with? 
They're here. There's so much. Pretty. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Pretty dark. Oh. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Sorry, I keep going into this. I want to interact with as many things as possible. Oh, hello. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, M. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, M. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away... For treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Happy birthday, nope, dear. Same thing. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. I was thinking the key would be with the tree. I was wrong. Oh, hello. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Yeah, so they made devil's breath to try and treat her. It's interesting that they're making Norman Osborn into a little bit... It, this game is doing a very good job of humanizing most of the villains-ish. Or at least the main ones, you know. Martin Lee, Norman Osborn, Otto Octavius. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. That's where you put... Well, I guess... Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Let's see, is Martin Lee a villain in the comics? Yep, Mr. Negative. He's... Not nearly as interesting. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. He's... He's sort of interesting, but he ends up being just kind of a two-bit villain for most of the... Ugh. Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Okay, so we've, we've been through this. And we can go get into uh, Harry's room. The main problem is a lot of the villains in the comics just get end up, end up getting reused over and over and over and over again. So they stop being interesting because you can't really humanize them in a short period of time. You know, no, nobody gives a shit about Otto Octavius after a while because he keeps showing back up. Uh, I was reading the comics last night, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I forgot how just boring and unlikable most of the comic characters are. Because, yeah, they, they have to be recycled. You, 
because Marvel comics are eternal. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. There's no voice acting. I was hoping there would be. So, let's see. July, uh, July 18th. Leaving for Europe today. Huh. Not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's Dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50. So, okay, I might not make it. If that happens, I'll bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if No Risk at All turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them, please, Dad. Uh, just them, please. Thanks, Dad. Love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing mom had. Neurodegeneration. Rapid onset. I've known for a while, but I thought I could manage it. Didn't tell you because, well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how you'd react, and I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with mom. Watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was worse than dying than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times that I was wiped out from partying or just super busy, not partying. Not busy. Sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment. Experimental. Long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promises it'll work. He hates the next nickname the techs have for it. Devil's Breath. Says it makes something good seem scary. But maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, Dad's here. Time to go. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Copy that control. We're five by five. I know they can't hear me. But whenever I'm playing a stealth game, I always get really quiet. For no good reason. Might have something, Control. Stand by. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Alright, there we go. God damn, I just knocked everybody out. That was quick.